Hey YouTube, what's up? And let's take a look at an iCal replacement called BusyCal. Alright guys, here we are with BusyCal. As you can see, the icon is very neat. I really like the icon. It's like, it's a bit of an iCal look, but a bit different, obviously. It, uh, it, it does update with the date every day, which is really nice. So let's go on and click on it and open it. As you can see, it gives me the weather right up at the top from, from AccuWeather, which is really nice to have. It tells me exactly what uh, the highs and lows are going to be if I ever over it. It even gives me the moon phases, which is really nice to have. So first quarter moon at 5.46 p.m. That's really nice. That lets me know when that's going to be there and when it's going to be It's really nice. And then... Another thing I really like about this app that I want to show you guys, which is actually my favorite, is the different views you have. iCal only has three. Busy Mac has four. So, of course, you've got day. iCal has that. Gives you the weather for the day. Well, iCal doesn't give you the weather, but Busy Mac uh, has everything here for you. And then week, which is pretty well the same as iCal, but you don't have the weather, of course. Month is the same thing. Doesn't have the weather for iCal. Things like that in the moon phases. And then you've got list. List is my absolute favorite for this app. I really love the list view because I can say, okay, here's all the stuff I have to do for this month. And it's just really nice. It's very organized. I can click on, say, this record busy cal event and, you know, edit it if I need to with the, uh, well, actually, I can't open it up. But it's just really nice to have these all open here. So let's go back to the week view here. And let's see how you make a new event. It's just like iCal, where I'm going to go over here to the ninth. And let's say, you know, for all pre pretend purposes, there is a Apple event this day. So I'm going to say Apple event. If I can spell it would help. And then there we go. So now I can just leave it at that. I really could. But I can double click on it and get more options, which is really neat. Or I can open up this pane here and get the same options. It doesn't have to pop out over a window. It's built into the app, which is really nice. I really like that. So now I can adjust like the location. So I can say uh, Apple HQ. And then I can adjust the day and exactly the time. So let's say it doesn't start till, I don't know, for some weird reason, it doesn't start till 1031. You know, you can change that in there. You can set it to repeat. So I can say repeat this every day. How cool would that be if there's an Apple event every day? But uh, <laughs> you can uh, adjust the calendar. So it's like, okay, well, maybe this is personal. Maybe I want to do this on my own personal time. This is personal. And now it's a really pretty hot pink. You can customize this. I'll show you how you can do that real quick. Get info. And now you can adjust this color. So we can make it actually a pink now. A little bit more masculine. It's actually more of a purple, if you want my opinion. But you can do that. So let's go in here and let's change the color again. I don't know, maybe a salmon. It's pretty cool. Uh, so now that I've got that, I can just close this up if I want to or leave it. And we, and we can be done. Say I don't want this anymore. Say Apple canceled for some weird reason. Close it out we're done. You can also do this with existing events. So here's this busy cow event where I was gonna record a video make it about busy cow. So I can actually extend this down, say, okay, well, I started a bit late maybe. And uh, we can go in here and adjust this. As you can see, I've got my website in there. So we can go in there if we want to. We can add attendees and all this stuff if Safari were close. All this stuff you can do in iCal. For all you know, purposes, you know, most of the stuff you can do in iCal is not as elegant. Let's look at some of the stuff you can't do in iCal. So let's go down here and let's say, well, let's add a banner. We're going to stretch this banner all the way down through here. And we're just going to say, I'm uh, WWDC. I know that's not WWDC, but we can put that in there. And now we've got that week set for WWDC. It's really cool. Now we know, okay, all that week WWDC is going on, so stay clear of time. I can get rid of that now, and we can say add a to-do. I can say on this day I need to, I don't know, bake a pie. Uh, to make sure it's like a chocolate or apple pie. Let's go in here and put a note in here and say apple. <laughs> make that an apple pie. How cool would that be? Get some more information, obviously, here. You can turn off some of these things if you don't want them. So you can say if you're free or busy, let's say, hit done. So now I can check it and say, okay, I'm going to, let's see, where is it? I don't know where that went. But uh, I can say, okay, I'm done with that uh, with that now. So I, I'm done with that with that to-do. I don't need that anymore. Or I can set it as a priority. So that's a high priority or a medium. Sanity is that done. Really nice to have. Close that out and be done with it. No. And uh, we can just paste some text in there. We can do a new journal and uh, insert something in here. I don't know. 
I'm just putting in random stuff here now. But uh, let's get rid of this. And it's just a really nice app. It gives you a really great workflow. It syncs with Google, MobileMe, I think Yahoo calendars even. It's really nice. It syncs over to LAN also, uh, which is your wired uh, internet, say, your school or place of business. So you can say, okay, hey, you know, check you and your colleague can be sharing a calendar and say, hey, will you, you know, or, uh, you can say, hey, there's a meeting coming up. They could say, well, sure, I'll be there. Or, nope, sorry, I, I, my kid has a soccer game. And it's just really cool. There's a lot of power in this app, and it's just kind of hard to describe here in this situation. But there is a lot here, and I really like this app. And I also really like how they actually take the holidays and put them down here. So it's just kind of a nice little touch. up. And the last thing we're going to look out here is BusyCal in the Mac App Store. I really love it when developers put their apps in the Mac App Store. It really gives... A really quick access to their apps. You don't have to go around digging in some random website or anything. It's right here in the app store. It comes on every Mac, and I really like it. And uh, so here is BusyCal. It is $50 in the Mac App Store. So it is kind of expensive, I do admit. But for all the things you get, especially if you're going to be using it to its full potential, say you've got tons of doctor's appointments coming, say you've got all this stuff going on, you really need this, you, you know, for you know your job or whatever this really helps out say you're taking a bunch of college courses you need this that will work perfectly too so you can put all your courses in here just put when all your finals are due when all your everything is due and that is even a great purpose for busy cow um, so I really encourage you to at least check it out on BusyMac.com. They do have a 30-day free trial. Actually, it's BusyCal.com. I keep mixing that one up. On BusyCal.com, you can get a 30-day free trial to check out this application and decide if you like it or not. I did do that, and it's a really nice application. I thank BusyCal so much for sending this over to me, for me to review and show to you guys. I really appreciate it for people to, try to take the plunge with me to review stuff so that way I can keep making videos for you guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Because when you guys subscribe, it really helps me out. It really helps you guys out in the long run. Because when you subscribe, not only are you automatically notified when I make a new video, but it shows these companies that want to send me stuff to review. Well, hey, he has, you know, this many subscribers. Well, sure, you know, we're going to send it on along to him because we know that he has a lot of people that are going to watch it. He's going to get a lot of notoriety for it. And hopefully it'll be awesome. And hopefully he'll give it a good review. Pretty sure it's pretty devastating when they send some send something out to somebody else a lot of reviews and then up with a good review but hopefully i don't have that problem but if we do that's just gonna have to be the way it is so i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching